Basically, my granddad was a race driver, um, and my dad had a big love for cars, so growing up as a child, I was always at the racetrack um, and in nice cars that my dad had owned, you know, supercars, and yeah. so it was, a big, it was a big thing for me. And then as soon as I could, well, before I could even drive, I was um, customising my first vehicle. I bought it, started customising it, ready for when I was passing my test, and it just went from there, really. I, I, I got known um, for, you know, working on my own car, customising my friend's cars. Um, I, my granddad had a big body shop, so we, I used to bring cars down there and have bits of paintwork done and different modifications. And it just grew from that, really. I was, you know, it never stopped. I went on to do other things, um, did a bit of chauffeuring and worked for other companies, other different body shops, but it always come back to really me doing the custom scene it was that crash repair wasn't really, I didn't enjoy it. Jason, I'm the owner of Deranged Vehicles. We're the creators of the first wide body Mustang in the UK, supercharged Roush. Um, alongside that, we offer tailor built packages for the Jeep Wrangler, Ford Ranger, Land Rover Defender, and amongst other vehicles. Obviously, there's quite a few companies doing a similar sort of thing and uh, working with you know, a lot, lot of companies in this country work from Range Rovers and Land Rovers and we, at mine really, I look, we used to basically start to um, bespoke auto styling and we was a custom tuning shop. So that's where it all started. And we, we with bespoke, we used to, customers would bring their cars to us and we would fit other people's kits. So we was fitting like Revere kits, Calm kits, Overfinch kits. We was, that's what we do. We was looking at what we're doing with that and how, we was always thinking, how can we make it better? And that's what we thought of starting our own brand. And to try and be a little bit different, you know, everyone sort of goes down the same route, build a kit for a Range Rover. So it's when we, when we started looking at the Wranglers and what they're doing in the US, and how mad they go with them, we thought, well, let's do something a bit crazy and, and different that people haven't seen in the UK. And obviously that's a hard market to crack because people, people don't know about the Wrangler, people haven't seen it. I mean, in the past with uh, bespoke auto styling, we've we've worked on you know all sorts of supercars, Ferraris, Porsches, Aston Martins, Maserati, um, and we're keen to release a program for certain supercars. So obviously, we've started with the Mustang, which is obviously a sports car. It's not really a supercar, but we've 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 put it into that class by now. Obviously, giving it 700 brake horsepower, yeah. wide body. To get ourselves noticed, that's why we've gone crazy with this car. Um, but we will be, we'll be aiming to release the, the program, body kit, and styling, and tuning packages for other supercars like Ferrari. Yeah, of course. I mean, we started bespoke auto styling now seven years ago. Um, it was right at the start of a session, it was difficult, you know, we, we're, essentially we're, we're offering a luxury to people, you know, it's not a need, but it is, it yeah, is yeah, exactly. a need to some people, but <laughs> it's, you know, to the majority of people it's, it's an added luxury, so obviously that, to, to, to push that as a business in a recession is quite difficult, but we just found hard work, determination, we moved from one place to another to another and now we're here. Um, in this premises, um, we started the brand Deranged two years ago oh, right. to try and actually have a product that we can push rather than some you know client bringing a car to us to customize. Yeah. Now we've got a product that's you know on the shelf that people can buy, they can um, come to us, we can advertise you know 
you can advertise one of the Wranglers completely finished. Yeah. It's, a, it's the same along the lines of what um, you know, up over Finch or Khan do. They have a they have a vehicle that is a it's a brand and it's a product, and that's what we that's what we're aiming to do. Um, I think we have we have low points pretty much every uh, every couple of months where we think, you know, we've got no money, we've invested it all into cars, you know, this is a big investment and we've got other vehicles that are big investments and you, but you have to keep going, you know, it's always about it's about, you know, finding the next the next uh, you know, finding the finding the sale, um, finding the next customer, getting you know making a bit of money here and there where you can whilst in trying to invest the money into new products. So it's not, with us, it's not like a standard car sales business where you can uh, you can essentially buy something, sell it, buy something, sell it. But, you know, if you keep doing that, you're going to keep increasing your, you know, your your assets and your, and your, and your cash, you know, your cash pot. But with us, every single bit of money we get, we start investing into another body kit or into another product. And the amount of money that goes into that you know, you don't really see the return until quite far later down the line. Yeah, so we see ourselves as a global brand in the future. We're, we're looking to work closely with the manufacturers, so Land Rover, Jeep and Ford. We haven't just started building cars. We've gone to the manufacturers and said what we want to do. We've set ourselves up on dealer terms with them, set up a program that we hopefully in the future, I'd like to see our Ford Rangers in the showrooms, our Jeep Wranglers in the showrooms, our you know, whatever vehicle we might be doing, work closely with the manufacturer, we can come out with a product that they can they can get behind and push. And if we can do that across the country in the UK and then start doing that worldwide, then that's that's obviously the aim we'd like to be. I would just say just don't give up with it really. It's um, it's hard, it's never easy. I, I, everyone would do it if it was easy. You know, we we've we've started with self-funded um, we, we haven't you know had a load of money behind it it's just literally us building cars doing what we love and not giving up if we have to be here working from eight in the morning till three in the morning for a week just to get something finished that's what we do and all of my guys here are really good they all know um, Alex and myself um, were partners we've, we've done that since the start you know some sometimes we've, we've, we've practically slept here and and, and works and, and that's what you have to do and we still do it now seven years later we still some weeks were we're here round the clock you know getting jobs done i just think hard work and have an idea and you know keep keep thinking of fresh ideas we're always thinking you know there's always people out there we can come up with this concept and um you know do something completely different to anyone else. So there's always going to be someone else who's going to think, oh, that's a good idea, so they're going to do that. Um, it, you've got to be one step ahead of that. So as soon as someone else thinks, oh, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to take that idea and, and do do what I'm going to do with it, we, we've, we're already thinking of the next idea. And I think that's the way you have to keep one step ahead of the competition. <laughs>